After what seemed like a long cold winter, when the moat becomes an unwelcoming place, it was lovely to stroll the banks once more with the sun's warmth on my neck. The signs of spring were everywhere, kingfishers flitted from branch to branch, coots built their nests, and it seemed as though the carp were on the move too. I looked into the snags, expecting to see nothing, yet surprisingly made out the shape of two carp sunbathing. Further along the bank, more carp came into view, they'd finally woken up. The moat was immediately transformed into the place I fall in love with every spring. Plans were soon made to begin fishing where possible. First a short afternoon, then a lunchtime baiting session, and ultimately a whole Friday morning to myself. I'd seen fish, or at least signs of fish, in all the usual spots, so these were the ones I concentrated on first. I baited initially with pellets and soon realised how much the bream enjoyed them. Sweet corn was obviously the way forward. In typical fashion, the place seemed lifeless when I arrived with the rods. Well, at least below the surface it did. After baiting a few pitches, I opted to float fish in a swim that offered deep margins quite close to the bank. I probably missed loads of bites. The morning was far too wonderful to spend it staring at a float tip. I did manage to spot one dip of the float, however, but it resulted in a bream of around four pounds. Every half an hour or so, I left the pitch and checked the other baited areas, but all that fed that day seemed to be bream. Just after lunch I made a move to a swim I could cast a couple of ledger rods out. This allowed me to kick back, relax and take everything in. Another couple of hours passed and it was time to pack away and collect Jessica from school. Although the day wasn't fish filled, it was so fantastic to be back on the bank. <laughs> 